Yo, what a minute you with Chris Unbox. You checking in, man. Prez Mafia versus Nun Nun. Now, I got this message from Prez Mafia, you know, through a, through a third party source that said he was, you know, disappointed that Angry Fan and Unbiased had not recapped his battles. And he said that had he done bad, we would have recapped the battle and shitted on him. Because, but because he did well, we don't have nothing to say. He's absolutely right, man. I think sometimes we do focus on the negative a little too much as bloggers. I mean, don't get me wrong. Battle rap has changed a lot since we started blogging. And it's way more negative bullshit than they are good battles. So it seems like you always got to air some bullshit out in order to give a lot of niggas their credit. But... You know, you're absolutely right, man. You had a good battle. Had you had a bad battle, I might have done a blog like, oh, why did URL bring them back? But you did your thing, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely want to give credit where credit is due. Um, this battle, man, basically boiled down to, for me, a difference between a nigga just spitting bars and a nigga that just had, you know, a nigga that has bars as well as haymakers. And also, experience, man, plays a big part in this battle, man, in my in my personal opinion. The experience of Prez Mafia really showed up in this battle. So let's get into it, man. Prez Mafia versus Nun Nun. Alright, Nun Nun starts it off. Obviously, he talks about the elephant in the room, the Prez Mafia biting. He basically called him a culture vulture. He had a nice little line about, you know, fucking up big words won't make you rich, homie, playing off the whole rich homie Quan. Biggie impersonation when a nigga basically forgot his bars. Also had a Prez Mafia impersonation. I thought that shit was fire and was definitely on point. I like the way he set that up and the way he actually acted it out. But yo, but yo, I'm Prez Mafia. I bite my bars so much I need a muzzle when I write my bars. <laughs> I need a muzzle when I write my bars. I turn to another person. I flame my bars like Dr. Jekyll. That's why I'm Mr. Hide my bars. Stop. Nigga kind of had Prez Mafia down. I got to keep it real with you. After that, he had some nice bars here and there, but no real haymakers in the rest of his first round. Just bars, rhyming words well, a couple nice bars here and there, a little bit of filler. And that was pretty much his first round. Press Mafia comes back, bottom of the first, addresses the whole ghostwriting shit, saying if you gonna boo me, boo me now. I felt like that was a perfect way to open up. You know what I'm saying? That's what I that's what I mean by having a veteran move to go to. Like he just basically telling you, like, yo, if you wanna boo, boo now. And he addresses the ghostwriting shit right away. But it was still a, a good way to open his first round. He had the foreign bar, four in bar. I don't really know where the gun come from. Uh as far as respect, I ain't giving you none, playing off none none's name. Now, we hear a lot of foreign bars. You know, you bring the four in, four in. So tell me where y'all get this nun from. This also know a pack of busts. It ain't full of them dumb dumbs. You want some? <laughs> Nigga, that four in, I don't know where the gun from. I grip a tech. <laughs> That also know a pack of busts. It ain't full of them dumb dumbs. You want some? That four in. I don't know where the gun from. I grip a tech. Far as respect, I ain't giving you none. None. They said my career. The thing is, is how you sell a bar. Sometimes a bar can be overused, just like an angle can be overused. But if you can set it up well. And Prez Mafia, to be honest with you, even though niggas be shitting on him, nigga got a little bit of star potential because he got energy, he got stage presence, his voice was pretty good in this battle. Sometimes he's a little too raspy, but in this battle, he seemed like he had it right. And it just kind of has that aura about him that just like, I'm swagging on you a little bit. And that's what I felt like he did with Nana. Oh, I got time, bro. Facts. See, I don't think you can handle the rapper. Your ex bitch got an appetite for brain. You think she can handle the laughter. You hang with top, so you swear you a trapper, but just because you eat all off the beer that don't make you an animal cracker fuck the world and he had the animal cracker line at the end that shit was fire man so i had the first round going definitely to prez mafia Nun comes back in the second round i felt like the second round was the lightest round of both of their two uh rounds i felt like the second round was the lightest and you know some people write their bars that way where they try to have a killer first round and a killer ending and then the second round suffers so i definitely felt like this was the lightest round none of us starts off with the orlando i kill a faggot orlando bar obviously they had this whole terrorist attack in orlando at an orlando club which was gay so faggot orlando gay all that shit 
uh, go together. What else did he have? He had a few more bars. It ain't a rinse tape. The ink will leave you dead press. So I ain't concerned with a word he said. This shit retarded, baby. I got the drop on his head. This broke slap on my stuff. Fuck that. It was never cool to hide your bars. They murder. If that's your man in the studio, hide your bars. They tell him smack. <laughs> Once again, man, just rhyming well, a little bit of filler, and no real haymakers. And that was pretty much the story for none of most of this whole battle. And it was no different in round two. Prez Mafia had the flight jacket bar, which was pretty decent. The uh, Ricky Bobby line, which was pretty decent. Wool sock. Let me chill. Because I took a lot. No foreplay. Even your bitch get wet when I hit the spot. The twin Ninas, like the levees is broke with a leak and stop. But these Ninas, and you'll be in between knees like you eat the box. You right with them? Other than that, his second round was just okay to me. I still gave the second round to uh, Prez Mafia, though. Just, I just gravitated to his second round more. But actually, th this round is actually debatable. I could see this round going to none of too, because Prez didn't really get super crazy in this round, and neither did none of So it's just probably a preference round of what you like more. Me, I gave the second round to, uh, to Prez. Round three, none of comes back. He has a Troy Ave bar playing off the whole Urban Plaza Troy Ave. That shit was fire. That was a dope ass line. It was probably the best line that Nunna had in this entire battle. You thought I lost to the boy from Norfolk? That ain't make me stop. I told Smack, I shut down the bench, Troy. Ab gave me a shot. You ain't had a legal. Why you want to kill John John is because he holds the steal less or because he steals less. These, all these shots, all these shots you taking got me pissed. Think you could kill John John? Why? Because he used the steal less? Bitch, I drop a box. Both these niggas, Prez and John John, are linked together for battling because these niggas are supposed to be the king of stealing or whatever. Say angry fan. Yeah, that face off had me pissed. Anesthesia gassed. Now he tripping. Man, the bullshit. Think you even near the crown? I get that impression? Cool. Saliva so can now show how a toast is able to throw a cap in your wisdom, bitch. That was pretty much it for, for none none in round three. Just once again, rhyming words well, mixed with a little bit of dope bars, a little bit of filler, and no real haymakers after that. Prez third round, he had a Tropicana bar that was kind of dope. I do remember that. And the Gabby angle, man. I don't really know how much of this Gabby angle is really true. I think Gabby is like a manager or some chick that's really into battle rap or whatever. I don't really quite know who she is, but I've heard of her before. I know she's in these Facebook groups and shit like that. But I don't really know her like that. But uh, Prez is pretty much flipping it like niggas is basically fucking the shit out of her from, from Show Off. He named Show Off. He named T-Top. I think he even named himself, if I'm not mistaken. Like, I don't really know. But is it true? We don't really know, man. But I tell a lot of I tell you a lot of times the angle doesn't have to be true. It just has to be set up well. We never really gonna know if it's true. If we talk to her, she'll probably deny everything that, that Prez said. But at the end of the day, it was set up well, man. Definitely set up well by Prez Mafia. With your ex Gabby. Uh -oh. All mouth. No teeth. But it's wisdom to it. I rock out. She had a tongue out more than a kiss reunion. This nigga stuck. You let a rapper get a kid in your class. You ain't a pimp, but it made sense when you put that bitch on the half. Shit is sad. Another haymaker. A difference between just spitting bars and actually having haymakers in your bars. So I got the battle three old Prez Mafia, man. I, you can argue that the second round went to none none, but the other two rounds to me, first and third, definitely went to Prez Mafia. Um, outside of that, man, what we doing with Prez, man? Y'all niggas didn't forgave him for the whole biting shit or whatever. I know America is the land of second chances and all that shit. He is definitely going to be on what? Born Legacy 4 or whatever. He's on Born Legacy 4. He got a good opponent for Born Legacy 4. Definitely somebody that's going to test him. Another dude that's been on his shit this year as well. But I don't know, man. I ain't holding a whole lot to Prez Mafia, man. It was good to see him back. Good to see him triumphant in his return. And, and you know, it seemed like he was a, he did a blog. He apologized to the fans, apologized to certain stuff. I don't know if he handled the whole, you know, deposits and shit. He used to owe leagues or whatever. But at least he owned up to his mistakes in the blog. And that's really all you can ask. And um, it's just good to see him back, in my opinion. I know we had issues in the past and shit, you know, on some Facebook shit. 
But, you know, I got over that shit, man. It ain't, it ain't really nothing serious. So, if you watching this, prayers, I fuck with you. It's good to see you back, man. And at the end of the day, I fuck with none, none, too. I seen better battle from you, my G. I, de I don't want you to get discouraged. I definitely seen better battle from you. I know you can bounce back. But, to me, prayers just stole the energy. And the more experience he had in this, in this battle, it just showed, man. Haymakers versus bars. And at the end of the day, he had more of them as well as bars. So, I got prayers to Rio. I'm Bias Review. I'll let you boy.